you, 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 you. Finally made it down here to Monte Cristi after a six hour ride. I highly do not recommend traveling from Santo Domingo to Monte Cristi on Caribe tours on that six hour bus ride because it was probably one of the most uncomfortable bus rides I've ever had in my life. Based on the fact that it was so long, I don't think it's really practical to ride on a bus for that long or you're sitting for extended periods of time, your knees is all screwed up. It just makes it real uncomfortable. I, that bus leaves out of Santo Domingo at six o'clock. Let me pull this around, show you how it looks out here. The bus leaves at six o'clock. Um, leaves at six. It makes three stops before it hits the first official bus stop, which is um, which is via via Vasquez. So the first two stops, the first three stops begins in La Vega, from La Vega to Santiago, and um, Santiago has two stops. And I was fortunately, I was fortunate enough to get on a bus that broke down. So the bus that I was on actually broke down. So we had to stop in Santiago for about 30 minutes. And then we had to switch from the bus that broke down to another bus, which didn't have enough seats to fit all of the passengers. And I was fortunate enough again to be one of the lucky ones, along with a few other people who had to stay in the remainder of the ride from, uh, from Santiago to Via Vasquez then to Monte Cristi. So I had to stand on a bus for like an hour with a few other people. That was, sheesh, that was a, that was an, a, <laughs> that was an experience of a lifetime right there. <laughs> so um, if you do decide to try to visit, I highly recommend either catching a bus from Santiago or Porta Plata. Those are probably the two closest places that I can think of off the top of my head that I'm familiar with where you can actually catch a bus from those two locations and head down to Monte Cristi within a fairly decent time because a six hour bus ride is crazy. And the fact that the bus broke down is even crazier. And I knew something was gonna happen because that bus driver, he was driving way too goddamn fast, man. He was hitting bumps like I don't know what. And he hit one bump, he hit one bump on the highway and the bus just damn near I felt like that shit was about to fall apart. Once that happened, he got off the bus. <laughs> I was watching him. My man got off the bus when that happened, checked the side of the bus, got back on, and then we somehow managed to make it to Santiago by the grace of God. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying, we ended up making the, uh, the uh, additional stops after that. Um, this, what is I about to say? There's, um, what's it, this, oh, officially, there's about like four, four or five stops, official stops. And on the on a Monte Cristi bus, first stop being Via Vasquez, second Monte Cristi, fourth is Kopi, which is damn near on the border of Haiti, and then the last one I forgot the name of it, and that's exactly on the border of Haiti right there. And um, Monte Cristi is neighboring Haiti as well, so we are. This is nice. This is the furthest. This is the furthest I've, tra I've traveled, and I was a little nervous at first because I've never traveled this far. Never traveled this far, and um, you know it's uh, first time making my way all the way down here, especially by myself. Not familiar with the area. Don't know anybody over here. So you know what I'm saying. I'm basically just winging it, and you know what I'm saying. You, you're winging it, and sometimes you're taking these chances, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. And fortunately, made it down here safely. On my way, I believe, I'm on my way to uh, Relo San Fernando de Monte Cristi. So I'm about to head over to the Relo. The place that I'm staying in, it's not available for another, another like three hours or something that so I got time to burn so I'm just gonna walk around here see what they got going on and check it out check out the sites I know there's a beach over here also so I would like to check that out as well 
maybe hit the hit the clock tower first. It's noon. I got four hours, dog. Oh, look like we found oh man. Oh my god, here quick as hell. Okay, so yeah, here's the clock tower. We got some basketball courts over here. It's pretty dead on this street. Oh, it's a Monday. I wanted to try to maybe come a little later on like a weekend, but uh, I did something else. And, you know, man, I thought it would be a good idea to catch the bus down here on a Monday, just based on the simple fact that the weekend is usually a lot busier from what I saw when I was um, headed down to, headed down to Rio San Juan. But, you know, turns out that Monday is a pretty busy day to uh, travel on Caribe tours as well. In particular, if you're traveling to Monte Cristi, that bus was filled, filled. The bus filled up first 30 minutes it started to board. I'm like, damn, it's gonna be one of those days. But it's all good. I made it to, I made it to my destination. And it seemed like everyone, rather than going to Monte Cristo, they were going to like maybe Kopi or the last stop, which I forgot the name of it. But they didn't. This looked like this whole area is locked off. So I can't even get, I want to come up in here and hang out, but damn. That's the clock tower. Pretty, pretty, pretty player. Can't even get in here. So I'm quickly learning the hard way that if you don't have a whip or a moto, it's not the wave to be walking around out here because everything is so spread out. But I just so happened to come across one of these damn salt mines. Look at this. This is pretty dope. I know I read online that they have, uh, that's their largest export, is uh, salt. And it's one of the largest salt mines in the Caribbean. Why not? This is pretty dope. I've never seen one up close like this before. So this is a cool experience right here. That's what traveling is all about. I mean, you know, I had a shitty, a shitty ride down here, but I'm still getting to see some fly shit. This right here is definitely something different. It's pretty dope. There's somebody's crib over here to the left of me. But yeah, this is different. This is different. This is different. Look at this. And these things are huge. Look at that. As far as the eye can see, they go all the way down there. All the way down, I ain't gonna walk all the way down here, but it's cool to get a little glimpse of what's going on. Got the irrigation system popping. Yeah, this is crazy. It goes way the hell down there. Look at all that. And if I continue to go down there, I know that leads to a beach. I don't know exactly what's the name of the beach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hustle through. I'm gonna hustle through, walk down there. I'm gonna check this out for a little bit though. Let's walk around a little more. And then I'll just head back, retrace my steps, and head back. Oh, somebody's over there working right now. I ain't gonna bother him though. I'm gonna let him do his thing. While I was on my way down to, uh, down here, and we uh, made a couple of, couple of pit stops along the way, you got to see a lot of the, uh, a lot of the mining fields. I believe it was, uh, maybe cultivating grains. It was like so many different fields out there. It was crazy. Cornfield, I saw one of those. One with grains for sure. And I saw a whole bunch of cattle out there also. It was pretty dope. Pretty dope. But yeah, this is fly right here. This is the player. Look at those mountains over there. That's pretty cool. That's probably like the first person I think I seen walking. Besides myself. That dude over there in the blue shirt, he's way there. You probably can't even see him, but those mountains over there are pretty cool. I want to cut through there, but I don't want to, I don't want to step on all that damn salt. But, um, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to keep on going down here. Matter of fact, keep this rolling. Keep this rolling. Keep this rolling. I'm going to bang this left down here. I'm going to walk all the way down this goddamn strip. I know it leads to a beach. Maybe a beach. Well, not maybe. For certain, a beach. I'm gonna walk down this mother. This is what you need right here. You need a goddamn, you need a moto to get around out here. 
you ain't got a motor, you ain't living right. Look at that, my man caught a ride. You lucky motherfucker. You lucky motherfucker. Maybe I could catch one on my way down there. I could probably, I'm pretty sure I could probably hit one. Hit one. Yeah, this is all salt I'm walking on. All salt. That's all salt. All salt. That's crazy. This shit slippery too? God damn. But yeah, this is player. This is fly right here. Just be able to see stuff like this is cool, man. Definitely, definitely an eye opening experience. And look how far this damn strip goes. And I'm the only motherfucker. Oh, there goes somebody walking. Alright, so I guess I ain't the only fool out here. But at least they got on long sleeves. I'm the one in short sleeves. So I don't know my. I'm not fully. I haven't fully, you know what I'm saying, assimilated into the, uh, into the system quite yet. I respect anyone who can work in this heat. Like when I was in Nagua, and there was people on the beach working in that blistering heat for the ministries of tourism, I saluted them. Like, damn, that is impressive. You can offer me a ride, homie? That's foul. <laughs> this is a little selfie spot right here. I ain't taking one, though. It's too damn hot. Look at that. Got hoodie on. They know what time it is. Tropical Sun Restaurante in El Malecón de Monte Cristi. Yes, I'm assuming this is the Malecón down here. Yeah, it's a weird route. <clears throat> my, man, my man over there, he, he cultivating that work. It's a lot more. Far more salt on this side. From what I can see, it's like the mines are far more developed over here than it seems like it was over there. Well, matter of fact, I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing more white over here. I'm seeing more snow. I'm seeing that those flakes touch your nose, get a taste. You hurt? I think I can just walk down here. I ain't gonna even lie. Yeah, he look like he don't, he don't even work over there. He just walked down there. I'll just keep it moving straight and maybe I could double back. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, here we go. This is like a, a lot better, bro. More interesting sights. You can really see it uh, at the water. Really see through the water. Over here, damn. And a red rum. That red one right there. That's different. Yeah, this is different right here. All the way different. <laughs> so I'm only gonna be staying down here for the day. Rented a studio not too far from Caribe Tours. So that way, you know, early morning when I get up out of here, I could just walk down to Caribe Tours, hop on that first bus out of here. Salinas de Monte Cristo. I, mean, I was gonna stop filming over here, but I saw this sign having a for sale sign, and then I also saw the hell. Oh man, damn! I shouldn't have stepped in this. Shit. That's a terrible mistake I just made. I also saw this over here. Visitantes, 50 pesos por personas. Oh yeah, alright, so if you want to visit over here, I'm going to pay 50 pesos per person. Ave de Monte Cristi. These look like they're uh, some tours that they do. They have a sign over here to, my, to the left of me. But I don't think nobody's here right now. I'm just going to gonna walk on over, just on the strength. I'm just going to come over here to this deck area, then I'm going to get the hell up out of here. No fumar. Yeah, I got some shade. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I needed this shade, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm hot as shit. God damn. I came close to... 
which I shouldn't have, uh, yeah, it's, I came close to like trying to taste some of that shit to see what it actually tastes like. I was like, yeah, you're bugging. You're bugging. You can do that. Okay, here we go. Coco Mall, this is the restaurant. Coco Mall. I don't actually see access to a beach over here, though. It looks like it has a dock with some boats. I don't see anything else outside of that. And this looks like a damn dead end. I'm not. Okay, I guess, I guess this is the this is the beach area right here. Oh, this ain't no damn beach. Oh yeah, I guess so. I guess this is it right here. This is the this is it. I guess some of it. Oh no, this ain't the beach. This is just uh oh damn, this way the hell down there. Nah, it's like a, a boat dock. It's just a boat dock. That's it right there. I guess they're doing tours over here. Yeah, he's just doing tours. A little further down there, that looks like it could potentially be like a beach area. I don't know if I want to make that walk down there. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to walk further down the street. Oh, okay, manito. Oh, yeah. ¿Qué te pasa, papa? Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I might just continue walking down here, bang the left, walk further down the street, see where that leads. And if all us fails, I'll just double back. I'm gonna have to find something to eat pretty soon. I didn't eat anything prior to leaving for uh, Monte Cristi. I just, I stayed up the entire night. Stayed up the entire night. I already knew if I went to sleep, I wasn't getting up. Yeah, the first bus leaves at 6, so I was gonna have to at least leave the spot at like 5.15. Did that. The people working in the ticket booth, they were late. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know I wasn't gonna be able to catch the, catch the bus if I didn't, um, if I didn't, uh, if I went to sleep. So I just stayed awake the entire night. Stayed up from, I wanna say, 7 p.m. up until now. And it's damn near one, one in the afternoon. Six hour ride, man. One hour on my feet. That's a private island over there. That, that uh, you could take one of these uh, one of these little boats to go see, but you would have to pay somebody, of course. I don't know how much they charge him, but I can find out. And yeah, we got restaurants over here to the right of me. And this is the this is the beach. Got an OG over there. Look like he' about to do his one too. Yeah, I think this is probably the furthest I'm ah, nah, yeah, this is the furthest I'm gonna walk right here. I am too tired, too hot, and I think I've had enough. I need to drink something. But um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you guys off uh, with the lullaby. You're already. I'll tap back in with y'all whenever I get a chance to. I'll be smooth. Deuces.